welcome back to the channel. On this video, we're gonna do the long awaited race between the aerial rider, Grizzly, and the Lyric Graffiti. And to help us with the race is my buddy, Keith. How are you doing today, Keith? How's it going, Mark? Good. So Keith is gonna ride the aerial rider, Grizzly. And just for uh, to get our facts here on this, uh, what's going on with this race, Keith weighs around 185, 190. And I'm way, I weigh about 185 at the moment, so we're pretty close in weight. And as far as the bikes go, the Aerial Rider Grizzly weighs in with the E Huntsman tires at about 110 pounds, whereas the Lyric Graffiti uh, comes in at about 80 pounds. I believe it's 80 pounds, yeah. So we got a bit of a weight difference there of about 30 pounds. They're both 52 volt. The Aerial Rider Grizzly has dual 1000 watt motors that peak at 1850 and it has 35 amp hour of two batteries that are blended and the Lyric Graffiti has two batteries 17 and a half amp hour each 52 volt but it only uses one battery at a time so there is that and then the Lyric Graffiti has the big 2500 watt gearless and I should mention the Grizzly is geared hub motors and it's a gearless motor peaks at uh, 4700 watts and as I say the nominal is 2500 so other than that we're gonna race down this highway which is uh, less traveled uh, we're in an industrial area here so it's a little bit less traveled and we're it's a Sunday that we're doing this video so everybody's home yeah everybody's home except for us and so we're gonna do a race down I don't know how far down we're gonna get down a ways and we can tell if somebody's ahead by a lot and you know you're not gonna catch then we know the race is over. Then we'll do one more race coming back over here and then we'll end it over here. Sounds so this will be our this will be our line here. This will be our starting line right here. Yeah, okay. th and this will be our finish line coming back. Okay. So I don't know where we're gonna end up that way, but if somebody's ahead by quite a bit we'll or enough right to know that you're not gonna catch them, then yeah. So uh, my prediction is before we get started is I think the Grizzly is gonna take off a lot faster than the graffiti. I agree. But I think if there's enough racetrack, I think the graffiti is going to catch them, oh, I definitely reel them in. Yeah. But I don't know for sure. There may it may be too far ahead to try to reel them in, but we'll see. That's my prediction. What do you think, Keith? That's what I think too. I really think the Grizzly's going to take off pretty well, and then yeah, your lyrics going to catch up pretty easy. I think. I so. think it's going to be pretty close because they both. I've had this one up to 36. Yeah, I had this one up to 36 also. And that uh, Grizzly, or Graffiti, I get them mixed up, the two Grizz, <laughs> is uh, I've had it up to 37, 38, and on a slight downhill up to 39. So pretty close. I don't know if there's going to be enough stretch to get uh, catch you or not, but we're going to find out. Okay, once again, this is going to be all motor too. No pedal. Yeah, so he's Keith is going to start right from the get-go with all-wheel drive yeah let's put this in all wheel and drive. i'm going to go to the highest uh level which is nine on mine so okay it's not going to make a difference on yours the assist so i'm going to turn on my full battery here i think keith is running at 94 percent there is that right or did it go back up uh 94 94 percent so he's not quite a full uh battery but he's close Okay, for some reason. Okay, it helps to have the battery on. <laughs> so there we go. I thought I had it on, but I must have turned it off. So I'm going to crank mine up to nine. So you're telling me that you have like a power level on that thing where you can. Yeah, so from pedal assist level five to nine, it does increase your speed. Does it? Okay. Yeah, on there it's not going to matter on yours, but on this one it does. Okay. So, uh, yeah, a lot of times I'll ride this at uh, pedal assist five, and I'm in off-road mode, which is the faster mode. You don't have that. You just have get up and go. It's already been unlocked. Okay. Because when you get that bike, it is locked at the slower speed, the 20 mile per hour or whatever, but then you unlock it. And I put it to 99. <laughs> Basically, that's telling you it'll go as fast as it'll go, and there's nothing going to hold it back. Nice. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. So, uh, <laughs> so we'll count it down: three, two, one, go. 
Okay, so is that how you want to do it? Three, two, one, go. Okay. Yeah, so uh, after right. go, hit your throttle. All right, let's line these up nice and easy right. right here. Make sure you leave me elbow room. Yeah, no cheating, Mark. <laughs> and I don't want to. St I don't want to be in the bike lane. Yeah, I just stay in the middle of the, the lane. So I'm going to be in. So share the lane with what, me. Let me get over a little bit more. Yeah, because I'm going to want to uh, stay out of the bike lane because I don't like the debris that's in there. Here comes a car, yeah, so I'm let's just wait on this now. car. Another thing that they tell us on the motorcycle too is the paint on these lines are really slippery, especially in the in the rain. You really oh yeah, yeah. Stay off those lines. Yeah, I don't want to uh, ride in the. Uh, okay. I don't want to ride in the uh, bike lane anyway. Get that car up far out of our way because we might pass them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ready? You want to call it? All right. Three, two, one, go. I couldn't catch it. I was, what was your top speed? Were you reading? 34.2. Mine was reading 36. Oh, wow. But I couldn't catch you. That start, when you get off to the start, I think we would have been even otherwise, but that start. So do you want to do one more going back? I think we're going to go into a bit more of a wind, but there was a wind going that way too. I could feel it, okay. but. This way we're kind of going uphill, so let's see how that is. I tell you what, this thing had a lot of wheel spin. Wow. Yeah, when it takes off, where do you want to start at that line there? Yeah, let's get, a little, let's get up to the where the streets. Yeah, this is a little bumpy here. Yeah, this is. Not good. Yeah, I couldn't get you. I couldn't catch you. Ah, this thing just took off. Wow. Yeah, that start, I knew it. That start is going to be hard to catch. Otherwise, it's probably pretty equal. Yeah. So that's surprising to me. I thought this thing would beat it. So anybody that bet on the Grizzly uh, round one, they're, they're the winner. That start, and even with those heavier tires, because right. it, e it was even a little bit faster, a mile or two per hour with the other tires. The so you weren't tires. really like trailing, like you were staying, you got back a little bit, because this thing definitely got Took the off, jump. right. And then you were able to stay from there. Yeah, th this one has a slow takeoff. I think um, that's what it is too. I think they deliberately limit the power on the takeoff, so that way you're not getting that tire spin. Like yeah, this so, uh, Hopefully uh, with the Graffiti X, assuming somebody gets one, uh, they add a little oomph uh, and we uh, Here's a car. So won't, won't have that happen again. <laughs> so all in all, yeah. I they're think both pretty quick. Even. Yeah, they're pretty quick. It's just that that one has the quicker takeoff right. and it's probably a little better on the hills because of that. Oh, for sure. Because yeah. of that dual motor, see? Okay. Was it a little choppy riding? No, or? it was really smooth. Yeah. It just, no, it was easy. Nice it's fast. Easy. That bike is fast. <laughs> it's definitely Yeah, and it's got power. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you better be ready for it. When you have this thing in dual motor, yeah, that, that front tire spin is... You know, the funny thing is, people call these, they say moped, right? Yeah. If I remember back to the 70s, because I'm old, <laughs> um, I don't remember mopeds being as fast as this. And you had to pedal to get it started, right? They didn't do no 35, 36 miles an hour. Were they like 25? Yeah, in the 20s. Speed? Yeah, and they, they were gutless. You had to pedal them to get them going. Oh, yeah, right? the torque on these electric motors are yeah. amazing. Yeah, that thing there with that dual mo 1,000 watt motors. It's a beast. Yep. So, yeah, when I took <clears> off, I even kind of kept my weight to the front a little bit just to get some traction because it's, man, it spun off the tire for what, a good second or two. I would say, yeah. All, All right, right, let's do this again. So, I'm we're going back. back. Do you want to count it down this time? I'll let you do it. All right, okay, ready? Okay. Three, ready. what? I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Mark is right behind me. He's not very far behind. 
Well, that time I hit 37. Mine was saying 34.5. Yeah. Maybe we should get like the speedometer. GPS, yeah, and accurate. Maybe this isn't, maybe one of them. Now those E-Huntsman tires, I wonder if they've, I did change the setting to 22 inch okay. for the wheelbase size and that made it pretty accurate for that within like three tenths of a, a mile per hour. But that was, uh, yeah, the difference is that takeoff. Okay, Once yeah. you get going, if they were both beside each other, I think we're almost equal. Yeah. I don't think you were pulling away more than off the start. But considering how much heavier this bike is, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. Once, it, you know, that thing just right from the get-go. Yeah, just, we got it's, heavier tires, it's a heavier bike. It just goes. It, whoops. It launches. Turn that one off. Okay. Let me just pull off to the side for a minute okay. in case somebody comes along here. I don't think they will, but... So, if anybody is wondering about the speed, so because of that takeoff, the Grizzly wins out. Uh, that dual motor uh, makes a difference and it just spins. You've got to have control, right? Yeah, you better be holding on when that, yeah. when you launch the front wheel. Wow. Yeah, it, it just looks like a rock. So, but other than the start, I think we're pretty equal. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we could just give you a head start on this one. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch it, maybe. I don't know. You want if to do you give more? me up to that other line, I bet you I can beat you or be right equal with you. Because that's probably the difference, right? Or maybe not quite that far. Or how about if I just do rear... Yeah, let me do rear wheel on the takeoff, and then I can kick it. Oh, yeah, just do rear wheel. No, that's... do rear wheel the whole way. Okay, you want me to try that? Yeah, let's try that okay. one. Okay. I think this is where I will get you. Oh, for sure. But that bike goes just about as fast. I'll just go around you to get into place here. That bike goes just as fast, um, almost as fast anyway, with one motor. It's just a takeoff. It's quick with two motors. So that might be a, a different kind of race. Do you want to be the inside this time? Yeah, that's fine. Or the outside, I should say. All right. My battery's still at 94%. Let's let this car go by, and I'm going to turn my... See, it didn't lose anything. No. I'm turning mine back on because I turned it off. Okay. Okay, this time... Same race, except for I'm in the inside here. And Keith is only gonna run the one rear motor. Let's see what happens. So let me get mine back up to nine. Hey, maybe that was it. I didn't have it at nine. No, that's not it. All right. Mark's having some excuses over Ready? here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. an hour, 24, 26, 27. Wasn't even close. Yeah, so that's the difference, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's a takeoff. How fast were you going with one motor? 31.3 was the highest. Also, it did make a difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, uh, this one was consistently 36 again. Okay. On this, uh, now I don't know if the accuracy is, what's that? Somebody, uh, the alarm, alarm? Here or something. The cops are after us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are you gonna do, uh, Start off with the single motor and then put on your second motor. Okay, let's do that this time. Okay, give me like five seconds. Okay. Like a five, not five seconds, three seconds. Oh, let's get back up to where we, where did we do it before? Uh, right where the road turns smooth. Okay. Let's get up there. And then we'll look for something a little bit ahead, then you kick in your motor there.
Okay, so I'm gonna start with rear wheel to about five miles an hour, then I'll kick in the second. Okay, how about you go to that pole? Okay. And and then when that, you get to that pole there, the wooden one. Uh, right here? Yeah, that okay. wooden pole there, and then put on your second motor. You'll feel the thing get ready because it's gonna grab oh, yeah. you. And <laughs> all right, that might be a more fair. Okay. All right. So here, just double checking, no cars. Ready? I'm gonna get a little bit over because uh, you might be wild with your start once you get going. <laughs> no, the start will be all right. It's once you get going, you'll hit that motor. Okay, here we go. Okay. On uh, three, two, one, go. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! Oh, oh, oh. Gonna be close! Well, I'm really surprised, Mark. I have a synopsis. Okay. Okay, my synopsis is that bike is a rocket with that second motor. The, the second motor on these bikes, I'll tell you, makes a big difference. Oh, yeah. For if you want to get off to a quick start, uh, have a dual motor bike. It or you need a. Torque. Or you need a, a snot load, <laughs> more power on, like on the takeoff here, but we'll see what what the future holds here but uh maybe they're gonna i'm really surprised i really thought the lyric was gonna catch up i thought so too but i thought you were just gonna blow right by me after, by the time it gets to the yeah end. that surprises me that that one uh once it gets off to its start it's like a horse you know horse race and it's a it's a it's a go go all the way you know it's a, <laughs> it doesn't slow down and the bike i don't know how accurate that is but it was consistently 36. yeah but i was the, saying 34.3 yeah so if they get the new Graffiti X and they get it up over 40 miles an hour that they're talking about, that should be able to wipe out either one of these. But even with the takeoff of this, uh, even with the takeoff of the Grizzly, I think the 40 miles, if it goes over 40 miles an hour, that's going to be enough to reel it in. These are pretty close now. Oh, yeah. And with your takeoff, that makes a difference. It's a rocket. <laughs> When you put that second motor on, did you feel it grab? Oh, yeah. You Every could feel it, right? Time. Yeah. It don't matter if you're doing 20 miles an hour and you put that second motor on, you, you feel it. Yeah, you can, it's like, a, it almost, to me, and I'm not a roller coaster guy, but it's like being on a roller coaster right on the takeoff and it just grabs you and yep. it launches you right from the start. Yeah, you better be ready for it. You definitely do not want the wheel turned. No. Or very little, well, full throttle that is, for sure. <laughs> All right, so as we wrap up this video, the Grizzly beats the Graffiti in a race. Even when, the only time that it lost was when we had it only used the rear motor. But even with a little bit of a head start, using just the one rear motor and then kicking in your front, it still beat it. Because yeah. once you launched that, <laughs> it went right by. That was it, it was gone. Yeah, it was gone. I was, we were pretty even, you know. I was, I was a little bit ahead of you, I think, and then you just, with that, you just launched and. And to be on. clear, you were only like one bike link back. It wasn't like blown it out of the water. No, no, they just... were. I think the difference is the the launch, the takeoff, because you get that little extra lead, and then once it gets up to speed, they're both equal. Correct. Yeah. They're pretty pretty close, but uh, it's the launch. All right. Well, that's going to do it launch for the speed crazy. test. It took a while to get us a, a speed test, but we found a road that's good on a Sunday as we're doing this video Sunday afternoon or late morning. And um, so we know where to come in the future to do another race if we feel like doing a race with some bikes. Good place to do it. Now, what about your traditional bike? If you brought that out? Oh gosh. <laughs> no, no, that wouldn't do anything. Your motorbike would. <laughs> but uh, the fact I've been on my actual street bike, I had a, like a, oh, what do you call them? Like a, a road bike. 
The hot, uh, going downhill is at 36 miles an hour. Oh, That's yeah, the fastest yeah. I've ever been, and that was only for a few seconds, you know? Yeah. And I think on the, the mountain bike, I got up to like 28 miles an hour. Yeah. Downhill is always fun. You can go faster. Oh, yeah. Now, hill, it wouldn't even be close. You know, one more thing about traditional bikes. Have you ever, now if you're a guy and you had this happen, it's an ouchie. But have you ever had the chain brake and when you get up to off the seat to uh, get a little extra power and the chain brakes or comes off on you? <laughs> no, I never had that. Oh, that, that's an ouchie accident. You don't ever want that. All right. Anyway, I just threw that in. <laughs> um, so that's going to do it for the video. But uh, thank you very much, Keith, for doing that. We've been, yeah, Mark, uh, it's been a, a long awaited uh, race uh, video. So now we got it. And dare I say, the Grizzly wins. Because of that launch, it wins the race. It's the champion. Now, what can beat it? Graffiti X. And that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you wanna be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.